Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another cast. That's right, I'm gonna be casting another match. This time it's going to be on Gorge Drought. Yes, it's such a great map. Anyway, so sit back, relax, get that drink, and let's get started. We have at the top the almighty Scuba as Air Force in the green, and down below we have Shay, also Air Force in blue. Yes, boys and girls, it's an air mirror, and let's see what these guys are gonna do. Are they gonna go for the same strat? Are, gonna, are they gonna do something totally different? Are they gonna wow us with crazy ideas? Let's see, let's find out. So far, we have a similar build order. Wait. No, okay, no, Scuba's changing his mind. Okay, so he's getting two fast supply centers, whereas Shay is getting his barracks up. He might want to do a drop, or he might want to try and get those oils ready, those yummy, yummy oils. Because in an air mirror, that's actually a good thing to get. But no, we see missile defenders, so probably we're going to see a drop. Um, Shay is now throwing down his first airfield, and now starting construction of his second building, the second supply center. So there is a bit of a delay. Uh, Scuba is already on two airfields here. Yes, they're still under construction, but it's probably going to help him out more. Let's see, what is better, doing a drop or getting two airfields nice and fast? The drop is probably going to go for this dozer, maybe? No, yes, no, it's a bit too far back. He's going for the power, interesting choice. Uh, sends the Shunuk back right away, that's a good idea. Uh, this isn't a bad tactic as such, because if Scuba is low power, then his production is halved, so it takes twice as long for a Raptor to get ready and all that shit. But actually, look, Scuba is nice and fast, he got another power plant ready. We got the laser lock on the Chinook, and the power plant actually... Okay, no, now it, now it goes down. Um, Alright, yeah, okay, yeah, a Comanche must be... There we go, Comanche on the way. So this is a little trick you can do. You can get all the Chinooks to fly over the missile defenders and then the laser point will just prevent any missile from hitting the Comanche. I love seeing that shit, it's so fucking cool. That being said though, it does suck up mining time. So that is a mild advantage for Shay. And here comes the first Raptor and actually takes out the poor little Comanche. But whatever, he did his job. And we get a Raptor here from Scuba. Let's see, what's he gonna hit? Is he gonna go for the Chinooks? That's usually what you see. Just Shinook hunting and denying income for the enemy. And yeah, we see that, but it was a very poor angle there. And the Shinook survives. If you want to one-shot a Shinook, you've got to make sure the Shinook isn't moving. You have to make sure there's no other Shinook around it. You know, because of all the laser point defense. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh, yeah, actually that did it though. That did it for Shea. So Shea killed the Shinook. We have a second Raptor coming in. This Shinook down. Okay, there we go. And we see Scuba looking around the map. And Shay, look how bold, man. Look at this guy. He's just built another fucking supply center there. Unbelievable. Shinnok goes down. And yeah, we just get some back and forth, back and forth. I, I suppose it was this a defensive raptor to try and defend his Shinnoks over there. Let's see. Raptors flying everywhere, man. Look at that minimap. Where, where's this guy going? Where are you going, man? Oh, he's just, just flying around. Even this guy just flying around. More raptors flying around. Guys, do something! Poke you with a stick. Okay, here we go. That's four raptors. That means he can probably take out an airfield. Is that what we're gonna see? Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, but look at this, Scuba. Man, he's gonna cover his ass. Look at this. Look at this. The raptors can't strike if they're... If... Oh, that was a good hit. Okay, right. So, the thing is, Scuba was flying around his own uh, airfield to make sure that if Shay struck, that these raptors would soak up the damage with their beautiful laser point defenses. But, in fact, Scuba said, hey, fuck it, I'm going down and attack. And that was Shay's opportunity. So, he took out the supply center. A very good strike. And now we have Scuba just on one. One supply center. We have a strike coming through, and the airfield goes down, plus raptors. Ah! That fucking hurts, man. That's how you can win as well. Either you deny income or you deny production, as usual. And in this case, production equals airfields. Let's see, is this guy gonna deny a Chinook? Maybe the Dozer would be a good move as well. Denies the Dozer. Good call. But that being said, Shea is getting money now. Look at this, he has 4k. So even though Shea has very little production, he has the money, he has the cash. Whereas Scuba is very low on money. He's, he's trying to survive. Loses... One Chinook there, they were both targeting... Was it targeting one Chinook? Yeah, I think so. And look at this. Oh, another airfield. Nice, nice, very nice. But Shea has built a new airfield, so... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, he didn't save those. 
Oh my god, he didn't save those. Oh man. Poor Shay. Yeah, those are the nice. That's how you do it now. Those are the nice. And that's where Shay's money is gonna go now. Building dozers non-stop. The constant queuing of dozers. Because Scuba here is gonna come in all the time and deny every dozer he can. And airfields. Combination of those two. Look, another dozer ready. And look at these raptors. Oh, they're looking for a target. Shay's trying to defend using his own raptors. And oh, look at this! The airfield goes down! Fuck! And it had a raptor on it too! That was perfect timing. Perfect baiting. Shay didn't see that coming. Oh, that was amazing. And right now we have Shay just on two raptors. What's he gonna do? It looks like he's not sure whether to target production or to target the Chinooks. Man, stick to your strat. Don't change halfway through. Clearly Scuba is going for a production deny. If Shay was going for the income deny, he should keep that up. Here we go, another two raptors. Strikes down another airfield plus raptor. Oh my god. Shay frantically building more airfields. This is insane. Ooh, this dozer survived. He could have tried a split fire. That would have actually helped him a lot. Because this dozer is still alive now. We need to have that refreshing and reloading. Look at all the raptors flying back and forth. Shay is only on one airfield. How many does Scuba have? He's trying to build his third. And he doesn't have the oil. Whereas Shay just captured his oil. So this is... This can still go in many ways. To, to either players, really. Look at that. Another dozer deny. Power plant deny. That's very nice. Shay must have cash, though. Yeah, he does. He's got almost... He's, he's actually got 5k. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Whereas money is kind of tight here for Scuba. Which, you know, makes sense with constant Chinook denies that have been happening. Okay, that was just a bit of a waste. Yeah. I don't know how laggy this game was. Because based on what I just saw, that might have been a, a lag problem. That these raptors were firing there. Let's see, we have another bunch of raptors. Look how many. We could maybe even see a command center deny here from uh, Scuba. No, we got another airfield. Oh my god, the pain. The pain, guys. It hurts so much. Denies another dozer. And another dozer. And that dozer's lucky. You lucky son of a bitch. Oh my god. This is crazy, though. Scuba really needs to get more airfields at this point. And maybe even switch over to Stealth Comanche just to really, like... Destroy these dozers all the time. If Shay is busy constantly with his own raptors to shoot down the Comanche, then that could be a bit of a game changer. Scuba will get free reign completely. Uh, let's see what happened here. We still see the Chinook attack here happening. But now even here, Scuba is mining. So probably at this point, Shay's strat isn't going to work. We see the command center being shot. It survives. Second group coming in destroys it. Command center down. Now is the time to dozer hunt. It's an Air Force situation. You can dozer hunt this guy. Let's see, there's one dozer, two dozer. Come on, man. You must be level three relatively soon. Do you have a Spectre coming in? Do you have a carpet? Do you have something? Or just use your Raptors. This is unbelievable. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Ignore these Raptors. Now it's time for the kill. There we go. We see the Raptors going down. They have a target in mind, and it's these dozers. Let's see where they go. One dozer down, the second dozer not being attacked. There was another dozer here that got denied. This main dozer is still alive. He's angling. Come on, what are you doing? He's sending them back. He sent them back. Oh my god, what an opportunity. Is it gonna finish in time? Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit. Shane finished the CC. Unbelievable. He's come back from the dead. He's gonna be spamming dozers. This must be queued to the max with dozers. And this actually is really unfortunate for Scuba. He had an excellent opportunity to take Shay out, but Shay somehow miraculously recovered. We see a great Comanche here. Let's see, Comanche's trying to gun down a missile defender. Doesn't really work out. And Shay actually gets the airfield. Of Scuba. Scuba still, he didn't build more airfields. Man, that was a mistake. You could have built way more. You had such a good upper hand. You're floating 7k, buddy. Man, he assumed he won the game. He's trying to go for another CC. But this isn't gonna work, man. You need more airfields. Get more airfields. Comanche being shot down. This Comanche needs to kill Dozer, man. Just go for Dozers. Look at this blob. Oh no, this is gonna go for the CC. 
of scuba. No, it's not. It's going for the airfield. Kills the airfield with a lot of shit on it. Look at all the pilots just standing there like, now what? Some harassment here from Shay. The dozer needs to kick into gear. Go crush, man. Do something. Shay looks like he's pushing through and pulling through. It looks like Scuba just kind of was like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> I got this in the bag. But Shay had so much money in the bank that when that CC came back online and he started building up dozers, in the meantime, Shay also had a big army of raptors. And now we finally see all these airfields being thrown down by Scuba. But look at all these raptors. So fucking dangerous. Maybe at this point, Scuba should just get a second command center just to be on the safe side. We'll get an airfield taken out here. And here we go. He's going for the airfields. Trying to kill them. Okay, these, these raptors are bugging out. It sometimes happens. Okay, so Shay knows that Scuba's building a strat center here. Strat center is being built here as well. This is a very important building. It must be destroyed. Mustn't get ready because then these players get um, Carpet Bomb, which is a major game changer. You can also get Avengers, which are also a major game changer. So these guys really got to be careful. And the Dozer did in fact get denied here for Scuba. And there we go. Just in time. Shay didn't get his strat center. Excellent play here from Scuba. The only thing is with the Comanche, what uh, Scuba needs to do is he needs to park the Comanche over the airfield. Because that way, if the Comanche gets struck by the Raptor, then the damage from the Raptor actually gets done as well to the airfield below. So he can actually self-destroy his own airfield. We have a Spectre coming in. And ooh, what a good location. Getting both the Supply Center and the airfield. And the Raptors do manage to take off in time. So the damage isn't completely horrible. It's, it's about keeping your raptors alive as well. We have a massive amount of raptors here again from Shay. And it's just unbelievable. It looks like Shay made a full recovery. And Scuba is now slightly on the back foot here. We have a load of very nice Comanche. Mm, I love that shit. But he really needs to park them over the airfields. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. That's, that's the trick, man. That's why you want to go Comanche. Mind you, he is getting some nice XP here. General. Which always helps. He looks like he's level 4. So we might see an A10 and whatnot. We see Comanche as well from Shay. And a strat center being thrown down again. Another airfield. How much money you got, man? He still has 3k. Shay has 8k almost. That's insane. That's insane, man. It's unbelievable that, you know, during these air mirrors, there's just a million things to look at. So people don't always look at their money. Because you're too busy microing units, doing things that really matter, and that way your money just kind of keeps increasing. And these Comanche are being a real pain right now. Oh my god. I hear a carpet. Oh, carpet on the airfield. Airfield goes down. That was a good carpet there from Shay. How's the strat center coming for Scuba? Still 66%. We got more Raptors destroying airfields here, which is the way to do it, man. Hold the line comes through. Let's see, so just one airfield for Shay, that's it. But there are still these pesky Comanche around, which will be a real problem for Scuba. So when these Raptors land, the Comanche will just gun them down. So it becomes a bit of a problem. Uh, it looks like the Strat Center got denied as well. And don't tell me these guys have to land over here, because it's not a safe place to land. Oh, God. Oh. Wait, what's Shay doing? Why is he going back? Why is he going back? Okay. She had a great opportunity there. Yeah. Oh my god. He let <laughs> He was just being nice. Just letting him reload and shit, you know? Oh, uh, what a fucking mess of a game this game. I love it. It's so good. Oh, and now Shay having the exact opposite situation happen. He's landing at an airfield that's so fucked right now. And the Comanche gunning down. Are they gunning down the Raptors? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, they are. And there you go, the Raptors are going down. Oh, uh, it's the Comanche that look like are, um, they're the deciding key moment now. Like, they're really doing the thing, the, the stuff, the killing. Okay, this might be dangerous. Yeah, you saw that. You saw the HP. This is what I'm talking about. So the damage hit the Comanche, but the damage also, for some reason, because of zero-hour logic, started damaging the airfield itself, so he self-destructed there. He killed his own airfield by doing that. And those are the little tricks, guys. They make a big difference. And right now, how many airfields does Scuba have? Well, how about zero? He doesn't have any airfields. He was so close to getting Shay Dozer hunted at that point. And Shay made a full recovery. And look at his base now. It's fucking massive. Shay's still on 4.5k. 
Scuba is, yeah, having a hard time. In fact, actually, Shea even captured these tech buildings here. And I would say this is pretty much it for Scuba. There's no way he can come back. Checkmate. There's nothing he can do. We've got Spectre coming in, just to speed things up a bit. Command Center going down, no dozers. We have a bunch of Rangers in the middle. A few Comanches, trying to use the Chinooks as a last resort. But Comanches still get taken down. And that is it. Command Center down, dozer down. And that's it. Scuba throws in the GG. Well played. This one goes to Shay. Well done, guys. Oh, very nicely played. And there you go, man. Air mirrors. They can go in any direction. They change the, the winner. It, it just, it's not consistent. In just a matter of a few minutes, Shea went from complete defeat to being in a strong position. A few minutes later, he won. It's unbelievable. Units destroyed, both equal at 73. And here you see the money. The money that Shea collected. Absolutely insane. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Good night. See ya.